Alrighty, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Al coming back to you with another YouTube video. We're in the shop again, working on the Turbo GMC. Um, I got a list of stuff to go over on the whiteboard that I want to get done today. Um, hopefully we can knock out some good progress. I did uh, start filming an intro and the heater kicked on on me, but uh, you can see, I forgot my heat gun at home. Where's my thumb, my finger, right here. Ooh, black. So. Um, I forgot my heat gun at home, which kind of sucks because uh, today I was going to work on that a little bit, at least one of the fenders. I just got this done, this little bit done down here with my map gas torch, which is a really inefficient way of uh, vinyl wrapping. Heat gun's much better, um, but I'll show that to you here in a second, then we'll go over to the whiteboard. Alrighty, so here we are. Didn't turn out too bad. Um, I am by no means anywhere near a good vinyl wrapper. I don't know crap about it. Uh, I just struggle through trying to make stuff work, but it doesn't look too bad to me. Um, no big bubbles or anything like that. That little seam down there ain't great, but it's at the bottom of the truck, so I'm not really sure if I care. Um, I would like to do the rest of the fender, but like I said, forgot the heat gun, so maybe we will hold off on that because I don't want to use my whole map gas bottle trying to get one fender done. Alrighty, so here we are at the whiteboard, going to talk you through a couple things. Um, this, I'm waiting on the differential cover. I'd like to get this done today. We're going to put the wires, land the wires in the PCM or the ECM and swap the plug on the side of the transmission. That's probably going to be the first thing I do today. Uh, I did order a transmission dipstick and it has not come in yet. It looks like uh, Monday and today's Saturday, so we can't get that done today. Can't bleed the brakes, don't have rear brakes. Um, I have an, a leak at the master or the ABS um, separation unit or the ABS unit underneath the truck. Uh, there's a fitting, a line that doesn't seem like it's landed in its home. Uh, we could do the washer fluid bottle. Can't do a fuel system electrical. I got uh, terminals coming for that. They're in the mail. They should be here today. Uh, transmission cooler, we could do that. Uh, I'd like to wait on the transmission dipstick to go in before I do that if I can. Fill transmission, waiting on the dipstick. Uh, power steering, I need to order a line. Radiator hoses, I think I'm almost done with that. So this is some of the stuff we're going to do today, and let's get to freaking work. Alrighty, so I printed this article from lt1swap.com, which is how to switch over the factory plug, and then also where to land the extra speed sensor in the PCM. So I'm going to do that. It looks like uh, info is 9907 classic, dual 80 pin, either red and blue or blue and green, and uh, Vortec trucks with black finned PCM. I don't have that one. So I'm going to follow this one and uh, get it done and show you guys when I'm done. All right, you guys, we're underneath the truck at the original 4L60 plug. Uh, what I did was I got this gray cover off the back. There's just two kind of prongs on the sides. I got underneath with a little screwdriver and then this guy on the side, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then you get to the connector here. And what I did was I sprayed a little bit of uh, just lubricant, a little seafoam spray lube. And uh, you can see the wires are nice and lubricated to try and get this white uh, rubbery weather connector piece out. And once you get that out, there's this guy, which is inside of here. And you just kind of slowly and gently pry that out with a screwdriver. And now we are to our pins. We gotta move some pins around. I need to go look at the paperwork to see uh, which ones we're moving, because I don't remember. And then once we do that, I'll check back in with you. Alrighty, so I'll make this quick, but here we are back at the connector. Got the white and the light brown with the black line wire out, and we're gonna land this dark brown into location S, which is right next to the blue wire, and that is where the white wire was. And then we use the white wire and the light brown wire with the black line for the vehicle speed sensor, input speed sensor on the 4L80. Here I am at the ECM in the engine bay getting the connectors undone. Uh, I kind of realized uh, partially into this after kneeling on a kneeling pad and uh, my chest being on a pad that uh, this was not a super comfortable way to work. So 
I raised the truck up and decided to work out of the wheel well once I got the connectors undone. Uh, this was much more favorable and uh, started to tear apart these connectors. You'll set yourself up for success with these connectors if you get the wires that are coming out of them as straight as possible to get the aluminum piece around the outside off. And then also if you just plan on taking off the wire loom and the electrical tape holding the wires together, uh, your life will be a lot easier with getting this project done. Popping the individual pins and wires out is super simple and transferring it over is uh, pretty dang easy as well. Get the connectors kind of land the wires where they're supposed to go, get the connectors cleaned up. And uh, in this, as mentioned before, we're moving that white wire and the brown and tan wire. Uh, the white wire is going from the blue connector to the green and the brown and tan wire was already in the green connector. It's just moving over to a different spot inside that green connector. Cleaned it all up, got it loomed, got it electrical taped, and uh, got those connectors back to their home. Alrighty guys, well if I'm honest with you, uh, that took like an hour and a half. Um, what a pain in the butt. I can't believe how hard that is. Um, I've never done this before, and I'm sure the guys that are watching this video and they're like, I've done this 30 times, I'm sure it's easy for you. Um, but I had to watch a little video on how to pull these connectors apart. Not too complicated, but there are some steps to it. Um, and then this brown wire that we disconnected down there, and this white wire that we disconnected down at the connector, um, the brown one was originally over here, we moved it there, and then the white one was in this connector, undid all of it and brought it over to this one. So uh, overall, probably harder than putting the transmission in the truck. Um, it's amazing that it requires that much detail. Uh, you can see we split quite a bit of stuff. So I'm gonna get this put back together, get the electrical tape out and kind of try and put it back close to what it was before. Well, kind of depressing, but way it goes that it takes about two hours to get an ECM pinned out. Um, so I'm not super happy with that, but it's done. We're still alive, barely, but we're still alive and uh, don't have to do that again unless we add a flex fuel sensor, which will probably happen. So I probably should have done that when I did this. But regardless of that, um, we can come over to the board here. The other thing I got done, I got the washer bottle in. So let's see. I think I know what I want to do next, but we get rid of that. Look at that. All right, that's gone. Now I wanted to start working on power steering. I don't have the right hose, but I have two of the three, so we're going to do that next. Alrighty, well, got the two wires hooked up, um, or not wires, got the two hoses hooked up for the power steering. Uh, I'm going to order the third here soon, but uh, here's, this is related to the um, power steering cooler, so that's the feed, and then that goes into the power steering gearbox. And then the little yellowish black plug that I'm pointing at right there, that goes to the back side of the power steering pump. Once we get that done, we are ready to have power steering. All right, well, with that being said, I only got three things done today, but I was out here for about four hours. So pretty crazy how some things can just take a really long time. I was putting off that whole ECM stuff. I probably should have done it when the harness was laying on the ground in front of me, but I uh, didn't really didn't really know how to do it that way. Um, and now I kind of think I probably should have done it that way. So uh, you live and you learn. We got the washer bottle in and we got those power steering lines hooked up. So small progress, but it's progress nonetheless. Um, thanks for watching this video. I hope to be able to make it out maybe again tomorrow. Um, I'd like to bring the laptop and see if we can get power uh, to the OBD2, but uh, either way, got some parts to order. Until I see you guys next time, thanks again. Go work on your stuff. Peace.